Okay, in this video, I want to talk to you about a down payment option that sometimes people don't know about. So let's say, for instance, uh, you're not a veteran, uh, you can't do USDA, and you can't do a state bond program, and maybe you haven't been good uh, or haven't had the ability to save for a down payment. So what do you do if you want to buy a home? Well, one option uh, that you have is a 401k loan if you have a 401k. So this is really just some general knowledge on 401k loans. I've seen differences uh, with 401k loans for, uh, for various clients, but as a rule, you are allowed to take up to 50% of your vested balance as a loan. A vested balance means that that's really your money. Sometimes if companies contribute to your 401k plan, it may take time for you to be vested or time for you to have full access to the money that maybe your employer has been putting in. So you're typically able to take up to 50% of your vested balance as a loan. Now, it's not a loan that you're writing a check for. It's a loan that reduces the amount that you get paid. So let's say that you're paid weekly. What you're going to notice is that your net income, your take-home income is going to be less. Most 401k plans will offer a five-year uh, repayment I have seen some off ones uh, that have been different. One client uh, that I worked with many years ago, their employer offered a 30-year option, which I thought was, uh, was extraordinary. Now, um, what you wanna make certain of, because lenders don't look at how much that costs you, they don't put that into the equation, you wanna put it in the, into the equation as a good consumer of making sure like, hey, if I'm making this much less, even though my lender is saying that, that I can afford this house, will I still be able to afford the house? Now, any interest that you pay on the 401k loan, you actually pay yourself back the interest. So that's one of the benefits of it. One of the downsides to a 401k loan is that if you get fired or you leave that job, the next calendar tax year, uh, that money's due. You've got to pay that in full. Some other drawbacks can be that you can't make uh, additional principal payments. You've got to pay it off all in one lump sum if you decided that you wanted to pay it off. So if it's something that you do want to pay off, maybe what a good idea to do is, is open another account where you start squirreling money away to pay off the 401k loan. 401k loan is a better option than a 401k withdrawal. That's my opinion on that. Because when you're taking a withdrawal, the way I see it is that you're robbing from your retirement and there's also tax implications. You get the tax implications of when you get the money, but then also when you're when you're filing your taxes. And I have seen uh, times where people are shocked when they find out that they need to pay uh, the IRS if they didn't take enough, enough taxes out. So that's why I mentioned uh, both taxes. So you wanna weigh your options. Is a 401k loan a good idea for me? And what will it do to my take-home pay? there's any questions, if this is a video you like, hit like, uh, subscribe, and share with anyone that you think is wondering uh, if uh, what they should be doing for a down payment. Thanks.